everyone. I say make a quick quick come do uh, Peter or B I'm a bow before I go on to do other things. I'm really busy. I have a uh, uh, this thing I'm supposed to drop. Uh, what do they call script? I'm supposed to drop for my program. You know, there's a program called A Place at the Table. Yeah, it comes up every Sunday 7 p.m. on New Central. Uh, uh, it's it's on DSTV, and so I, I'm always I'm a co-host there twice a month, and so I'm supposed to drop in. Get, today is the deadline for for the script. So normally what we do, you have your advocacy. What is it that you want to talk about? So you write on it, and then you when you go on that day, you talk about it, and then your fellow uh, co-host then they will comment on the issue that you have brought uh, to the table that you want to discuss. So that's what I want to do. That, but anyway, she has said. Before I quickly go and do that, I need to come here and do Ami. But uh, Peter, Obi, you see him, you see walking up and down, you see the waka, the waka up and down. And this time he was back in Kaduna again, where, of course, he gave about, is it 30 million naira to different uh, different uh, groups. Uh, there was one Islamic school. He gave them 10,000 Naira. Then uh, Federation of Muslim Women Association. He also gave them 10, uh, sorry, not 10,000 Naira, 10 million Naira. How many zeros did I remove? 10 million. Is, so this is what happens when you're fast. I'm actually trying to rush through this and quickly go and do my work. So I shall... Hmm, calm down. The time is the time. You can't do anything. So calm down and say it. Okay, so he gave 10 million... Uh, uh, 10 million naira to this one Islamic school uh, and then another 10 million naira to the Federation uh, of Muslim Women Association and then he uh, he also gave uh, 10 million naira to another organization I think it was a I'm not sure now but another organi uh, uh, another organization so that's about 30 million naira that he gave out there and one of the things that you know I've noticed is the fact that of course the voices are dying down. All those people that used to insult and use Peter or BDC, oh, he's in his five time, he's in, blah, blah. it's gradually uh, reducing. But I saw earlier someone had, did a, had done a tweet to say that, look, that there is going to be a state sponsored smear campaign against uh, Peter or B, that a lot of influencers and all of that have been deployed. You know, they've been paid uh, to do that. There are many people who are influencers, you know, social media influencers, and that's, and, and, and it's a job. There's nothing wrong about it so basically uh they they they, they either they are, some of them are brand ambassadors they promote one thing or the other uh they of course and there are some who actually promote lies hatred and so that's where it's unethical i say it's unethical and not all of that but I don't, it's not criminal so sometimes in life you have to be yeah the law might not have said this is wrong but it's or it's morally and ethically wrong and so for some of them they will, they don't mind whatever they give them to promote certain lives they don't care they just promote it whoever pays them uh that's that's what they do so like someone was actually i just read that tweet where someone was saying that that look this there's going to be that smear campaign uh a state sponsored smear campaign against peter but anyway sha Ah, uh, now then go tired. You know what it is, okay? Now then go tired. But for me, this video, uh, this video, why I'm doing this video is that, hmm, to just do the army bosha of what had happened, you know, uh, at, uh, uh in, 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 in Kaduna. My mind, I don't know why, why my mind is taking, you know, my mind is taking Kano, like in Kaduna where he had gone there so uh just looking at it uh, let me look at let me read this report from uh mr peter b where he's saying in continuation of my desire to identify with critical institutions of human development in the country yesterday i had the privilege of visiting the mother said to hidayatul awladi muslimina al majiri school in kawo kaduna state during the visit i was opportune to interact with leaders from similar facilities representing the various local government areas in Kaduna State. So it's not just the school. Of course, other schools that they brought in their leaders and he met with them, he facilitated with them. I also spent time immersing myself in Quranic learning alongside the young people. And one of the things I will give it to Mr. Peter will be during the whole campaign. He kept talking about Islamic schools, about how children 
who have the intelligence to be able to memorize the Quran that is you can't say that they are uneducated they are, it's not that they are uneducated they are educated but they are edu it's on the you know the Quranic education Arabic and all of that but that we we can tweak it and and make it work use that in intelligence harness it for the betterment you know of the country and do not just leave the children like that without jobs all on the road and stuff like that he talked a lot about how like all of these Almajiri schools and everything, where you can actually harness them and, you know, develop them, make them grow. Mad, look for the curriculum that works in a way that traditionally, and then they can also fit in the secular, you know, kind of uh, education, fit those in and be able to get, develop human, re-human capital, you know, for, for Nigeria. So he spent a lot of his time uh, uh, talking about this all throughout the campaign. Witnessing their enthusiasm for Quranic education, they affirm my belief in the untapped potential within the students, fluent in Arabic reading and writing. I'm convinced that these students possess the capacity to excel in various fields. He has been saying this for a very, you know, uh, for a very long time. From, uh, from, uh, to excel in various capacity from medicine and architecture to engineering, artificial intelligence and beyond. As I, as I interacted with them, I envisioned a future where they would become professors, doctors, lawyers, economists, cap captain of industries and competent political leaders with a firm belief in their great future and significant contribution to our country. I strongly advocate for an educational approach that brings formal uh, schooling directed to them on site. This involves providing qualified teachers in English language, mathematics, social studies, environmental science, and Quranic Arabic studies, among other skills. My future, my vision for education transcends conventional boundaries, recognizing the immense value of cult cultivating diverse skills. With this and other methods that go beyond conventional you know, educational learning, we'll be able to pull millions of out-of-school children into the educational system. This will go a long way in transforming our society. Thrilled by the potentials I observe watching their activities and to continue my advocacy, I supported them with 10 million naira towards their educational uh, towards their education. I urge fellow leaders to join me in this noble cause, ensuring that we eliminate this, this, this crutch of out of school children and empower quality education for all. Together, let us champion the potential of every learner and pave the way for a higher, more inclusive future for all. A new Nigeria is not just a dream, but a tangible possibility. Uh, uh, PO. And you know, that, that just says uh, uh, everything and it says a lot. And uh, well, that's the Ami boy I brought for you to say that Mr. Peter B is out there doing his thing, going on, not allowing himself to, to be distracted, just focused. To, nobody talk about tunnel vision. This is what it's all about, having that tunnel vision to just keep going for the betterment of the, of the people. So you too, what, 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 what reason do you have to say that? Oh, I'm giving up. I won't mind it. Da, giving up is not an option. We die here now. Our country be this. No Nigerian is more Nigerian than any Nigerian. Nobody owns this country. Nobody. Now all of us gather owner. Thank you. Bye.